Hi, I'm Sparrow the Dragon. And I'm Gilgrunt. And my name is Trigger Happy. They call me a Raptor. And you may address me by the name of Jetvac. Today is Black Rhino Ranger's 10th anniversary on DeviantArt. And what we shall do is take a peek at some of his old works. From 2009 to 2018. Let's begin. Fun fact, horses don't have two toes, only one. Black Rhino Ranger only drew this to satirize horse feet. I swear there's something familiar about this. It kind of reminds me of two people I know named Abby and Brittany. Maybe it's the snake. Ah, uh, Black Rhino Ranger was such a fan of this franchise, even the sequels. I wonder what Jurassic Park 6 would be like. Ah, Dial, Black Rhino Ranger's creation in 2006. I wonder what you're gonna do with them. Eesh, kinda creepy if you ask me. Better done on birds than reptiles. So I've been informed that this is a 10 breed. Kinda like an impossible creature, except instead of two animals, it's 10. Ah, such grace and beauty Black Rider Ranger's first drawing on DeviantArt was. A true masterpiece. Here's another early creation by Black Rider Ranger, Rhino. He made him when he was 11. I used to do something like that to my pals when I was a kid. In fact, I still kind of do. Ah yes, Black Rhino Ranger enjoyed this comic book series. Even his mother did when she was a young lass. Fun fact, Black Rhino Ranger won tickets to a Liverpool exhibition for doing this drawing. I would say make this an actual business, but I heard publishers are picky nowadays. Good thing the publisher's daughter approves J.K. Rowling's work. And this is why I never have a slumber party. It always ends in a mess. I swear, one of these heads is not like the other. Maybe it's the one with the orange hat. I, uh, don't know how to make out of this. I say he's, uh, technogonic? I used to do that as a kid, and I never felt pain. Because, you know, purple dragon, impenetrable scales, but even he's not a dragon. How can we never have an elephant as a Skylander? Is it because of the tusks or the trunk? Just like Toy Story and just like this movie, some say that we Skylanders are secretly alive when humans are not around. It's either magic or military processing chips. Well, they both have heads and they tend to squiggle a lot. And I heard one is stupid, one is really smart, and the other is very self-centered. Ah, Black Rhino Ranger was a fan of that franchise. That is, until 2016 happened. Ah, Black Rider Ranger's first drawing of me. And heck, he didn't draw the classic or LOS version of me before. I thought there was something fishy about those nursery rhymes. They hold a lot of tragic secrets. I'd hate to be in his shoes on Christmas. I would burn the teddy bear myself. You wanna know how Black Rider Ranger got onto TV and art in the first place? It's all in the description under the image. Sorry we couldn't get any female Skylanders to react to these images. I wonder how they would react to BR's first attempts to draw them. Boy, was I handsome, young, scrappy, and hungry. Go, oh, where are my pants? I was young and happy and, uh, kind of unstable. I heard Black Rhino Ranger made this guy based on something he made in Spore, using Dark Spore mods. I got no reaction. Seriously, I don't. Black Rhino Ranger loves to chibi-fight things, don't he? They say a certain Marvel show inspired him to do so. Since when did Stump Smash get her haircut? Or even hair? Maybe it's a toupee. Ah oh man, they can barely see me. I kinda look like an insect. Remind me to do the same thing for my girlfriend. Although flowers don't mix well with the sea. What is he, an alien hammerhead shark? Then again, he is kinda cute. I heard this bird was extinct for like a thousand years. I wonder what species Big Bird is. I heard Black Rider Ranger had a nightmare which caused him to draw this. He probably would give me nightmares too. They say dogs are a man's best friend. How about a lava monster's best friend? Huh? Why so grumpy, princess? Oh wait, this was before she had wings. Just me getting myself ready for combat, that's all. Cinder, did you ever trim him or bite him? Remind me never to let her near chalkboards. Ah, 
Who is she, the princess of mail delivery? She doesn't even have a horn yet. If you pay attention to Black Rider Ranger's animations, you notice there are some fine art parodies lying about. Here's an example. Fun fact, this was featured in the official Skylanders Boomcast video on YouTube. Thankfully, it wasn't bloody. I swear in one incarnation he sounded very familiar. There's also a familiarity with a web sleeper. I should remind Bira to finish up our university story. People have been dying for the third part. One's an ant here, the other's an elephant. How come none of those heads were available in Imaginators? Black Rider Ranger, you are looking fine. Well, his mascot, that is. I wish I could hug him, but man is he so spiky! But man is he adorable! It's a shame I didn't get a Series 4 after this. I wonder what my power would be like. Guys, I think I spot an error in this one, where there's supposed to be two thorns, or that thorn was not supposed to be there. Hated peanut butter. Perhaps I should consider keto bread. I never enjoyed the taste. You keep wolfing it down instead of chilling. Okay, break time over. Puffiz and I were great Easter gremlins, though next time we'll use raptor eggs. If he can figure out how to operate his helicopter pack, surely he can figure out how to brush his teeth. I remember when BRR made up his own villains long before all the villains were revealed in Trap Team. Though this one does remind me of Blaster Tron. I am jealous, he gets the best flavors! Then again, I am lactose intolerant. Technically Trap Team reminds me more of Ghostbusters, but a lot of people keep comparing this to Trap Team. So that's where I heard the shortened term for self-photographic portrait, it was in the comments. <sighs> kids these days. Why wasn't I invited to that game? Then again, gambling is questionable in kids' games. Uh, no. Please, get it off screen. Must I remind people for who I really am? Ah, my old chum back in Skylanders University, which was fan-made by the way. I have heard he had a makeover. That is my number one most hated vegetable in the world. I prefer green peppers. I should have been more aware of where they came from and what their age difference is compared to here, but in the comics they act like children. I know that Hugo is afraid of sheep, but does he like to eat them? Bira's first drawing of the big bad guy of Skylands. The comics, that is. <sighs> Me trying to keep in touch with my old chums, and this was three years before the remastered old adventures. Fun fact, these guys were supposed to be guests for Skylander Superchargers. Instead, we ended up with a big ape and a big turtle monster. Eh, I got nothing to say. It's all said in the picture. This was made based on something about devouring Skylands. And this was long before the Supercharger version of the Darkness. Why wasn't he a Sky Amiibo guest? He's perfect! And a chance to use a guest C vehicle. At first, Biara didn't think about buying the Eons Elite, but then he decided, you know what, might as well do so. That's when he draw us like this. I wanted to do the same thing Wrecking Ball did, although I don't have that many spikes. Some people are afraid of chumpies, some people are afraid of sheep. Personally, I'm afraid of being poor. Good thing I got a girlfriend and she doesn't have the Midas touch. Besides, gold sinks in the sea anyway. Apparently I didn't know there was a voice acting in video game Strike in 2016 and 2017. It probably explains why my voice sounded different in Imaginators. I wonder if it's possible to have two different Spyros in the same universe. Does anyone want BRR to make an animation on that? Um, I say Stink Bomb was a better comparison. Or maybe Blast Zone. Or Crash Bandicoot. How was I supposed to know that somebody was giving me a rude pet on my back? And I swear it means donkey. The perfect pet for Terrafin. How come they don't make four-legged Skylanders anymore? Oh, Popfizz. You used to be so naive back in Skylanders University. Now, you're insane. 
Well, it was eight years after his last game, but I'm glad he came back in Skylanders. Oh, Bira, you are four years late with the drawing. Then again, I only had three reposes compared to Trig and Gil. Eh, she was so scary. In fact, she was so scary that I kind of have a crush on her. Doesn't she have something like that from where she came from? That place has a lot of corn stuff. I remember doing this for the first four figures company to make a statue of me as a Skylander. Unfortunately, that statue never came to fruition. I got an album that's very similar to this one, except it was more TV related. If only we can travel back in time and introduce the light and dark elements at the very beginning of Skylanders, what would the Swap Force be like? One of Black Brian Ranger's many creations from Skylanders Imaginators. It's a shame the creator app has been removed from the App Store. Pop Fizz? Fizz Pop. Popple Fizz? Fizzle Pop. Somebody call Activision. If we can't have another Skylanders game, why not just give each of us our own franchise? Some say there's a side effect whenever you're traveling by portal, like your intelligence increases. Have you checked the music video BRR made based on this? It's really catchy. May we salute to the man who inspired Black Runner Ranger to make his own animations on YouTube, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. May he rest in peace. I sure hope Activision gives me my own franchise and maybe a presence of my girlfriend. Uh, how on earth is she able to hold on to that hook? Doesn't it, uh, fall off or something? I know she's a prankster, but isn't this a little extreme? I mean, Stinky is usually a boy's thing, unless you're Lin. You want to see the original thumbnail of the Double Dragon Decade? Well, here it is. Keep in mind, it's just a prototype. I know I love money, but this is way too stereotypical. And besides, do people read newspapers anymore? I could have been Neptune, King of the Sea! Then again, I am a lava monster. Eh, just a bunch of kids and their imagination. In fact, I used to do something like this as a kid. Wait, I thought in one episode she didn't like wood, but then there's an entire holiday revolving around a stump. Make up your mind, writers. I don't know about you guys, but she is way too stupid to live. But I cannot deny her taste in fashion. And that's our reaction to a hundred of Black Runner Ranger's pictures. Now what do we do? Maybe we can ask some people to remake some of Black Runner Ranger's drawings? Not a bad idea. We'll surely get some good reactions out of it, right? Let the bonus remaking reactions begin! Um, they are looking down. Seriously, what are they looking at? Good thing I don't have a tail of my own. But does my girlfriend do that? Hey, 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 remember, the Superhero Squad only has four fingers. I can see a five in this one. He gets hair? How come I don't get hair? Can my hair grow fruit too? Black Runner Ranger must be so proud to have a portrait of him. His mascot, that is. They say that dragons are better than dinosaurs, but I have a bit of a homework for you. Dinosaurs did exist. Dragons did not. Unless you're counting Komodos. Uh, they're so cute when they're chibi. How come Donkey Kong and Bowser weren't chibi than Superchargers? Fun fact, Spyro officially had eight voice actors. Most Skylanders have only about one or two. You had to remake this one. You had to really remake this one. Somebody please hide me. Hmm. Maybe we can use this one. And to end this video, we have one more surprise. Nope, that wasn't it. That was a spinach pie I had earlier. It's this picture Black Rainer Ranger has made specifically for this video. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. And happy 10th anniversary of BRR on DeviantArt. Keep up the good work, old chap.